Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the most amazing couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I have lots of things to share and show you so I don't even wanna hesitate one more moment. I wanna jump right on into it. Now I went yard sailing over the weekend and I did post a yard sale thrift haul over on my crazy Callen Vlogs channel, which is my secondary channel to this one, where I just like to hang out with you guys. I got a beautiful outdoor gardening cart for $1, and I wanted to spruce it up and go decorate it. So I'm going to show you the things that I found for that carriage outside of my house. I found these beautiful ceramic little half pumpkins, and they are little tea light holders, little votive holders, whatever you want to call them, and I think that they are so lovely. These will weather nicely outside, so I'm going to put them on the cart and put not a little candle in them, but like a little flower or something like that. So I picked up this beautiful, gorgeous yellow one. I cannot wait to go out there and jazz it all up and make it pretty because I did a lot of decorating over the weekend outside. Then we got this really burnt orange looking one and I think that they are so completely pretty. And they're very weighted too, so I'm not worried about them outside like tipping over in the cart or anything like that. Plus I have so many things to decorate the cart with and I can't wait to see it all come together. And the weight of it will make it very secure and um, hold down to the porch. And then there's that beautiful gorgeous orange one. I bought one of every single color that I could find. So I thought that they were just quite lovely. And then perfect this really nice like eucalyptus type of green i love this one i think the most and the burnt orange one so i thought that that was lovely pretty and beautiful and i can't wait to put it outside now these right here are candles but i'm not going to burn them i'm going to put them on the card outside but they are just going to be there for decoration reasons and i thought that they were so cute now if you guys got one of those little pillars that is in like the candles section the little ceramic pillars these would look really really cute with the candles on top of those pillars but I'm gonna set these on the carriage so we have this adorable sweet beautiful little jack-o-lantern face I actually got two of that one then whoa that almost went right out of my hands then right here the candy corn striped one which I thought was extra super duper cool and beautiful and then these two right here, which is another beautiful jack-o'-lantern. And I will be taking the plastic off of these. And then this one right here with the black and white stripes, which kind of reminds me of Beetlejuice or something like that. So I, after I get everything situated, dolled up on the cart, I will definitely be taking a picture of it overall and sharing it with you on my community tab here on Crazy Days of Callan, where I post all pictures to you guys and messages that I just want to share quick notes of love to everyone so there's that then I did pick up four more of these potted plants these I will have to wait down because they are not heavy whatsoever they come in this little plastic pot here and this beautiful faux flower so I will do some work to this to make it you know really heavy for the carriage also then I picked up this beautiful one right here which is the really full cream looking sunflower in the same exact style pot. I even have these on my stairway um, leading up to my front door with some succulents in it. And I thought that these were so beautiful. So I was so happy to see that they had more. Then we have this perfect yellow sunflower look to that one. And then last but not least, there is the most beautiful orange gorgeous yellow mixture of a sunflower in the same exact style now i love using faux flowers because no fuss no muss and you don't have to really tend to them worry about them other than maybe picking them up if they blow down so that is what i love the most and then after i'm done with my carriage i am coming in the house and i'm going to clean 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 and so cleaning is a big for me i love to clean it's my happy place other than being here with you guys now this is the bonus size it kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses and it's spick and span every day antibacterial cleaner and it's lavender scented so this is a big um, nice 
uh, refillable bottle to put inside of a spray bottle that you may have on hand from the Dollar Tree. So I love that it's lavender and I love I love to clean with Spick and Span. That is such an old school style of a cleaner and it's always worked really well for me. Then we also have this disinfectant spray right here from Home Bright, and this is a bonus size, 25% more, and this is fresh lavender scented, and it kills flus and viruses as well, 99.9% .9 of germs. So after I'm done washing my surfaces, and even maybe my floor with that beautiful lavender spick and span, I am going to spray my house, and hopefully it will keep me really zen, cool, calm, and collected, because, you know, so after a nice cleaning that is how I like to feel then I'm gonna do my laundry this week with a little bit of lavender as well so that I can consume that beautiful scent now all of these things have so many other scents to them if you are not somebody that likes lavender they have these of so many different varieties now this right here is my favorite softener and I buy these in bulk and I usually buy a whole set of them well my pile has dwindled down so I needed another one and I grabbed the lavender for this week this is the Suavidel complete which is the one I like the most it is color protection fewer wrinkles, irresistible uh, softening and freshness, easier stain removal. It says it does 12 small loads and it's soothing lavender. So this is a 14.4 fluid ounces and it smells divine and I can smell it very well on my clothing. Then I picked up some dryer sheets so that it will pair really well with that. This is fresh lavender dryer sheets and this one is the um, 40 count. So I definitely only pick up the larger packages because I know a lot of the other like name brand ones like Gain and things like that only come with about 18 dryer sheets in it. And I wouldn't pay 18, um, um, I wouldn't pay $1.25 for only 18 dryer sheets. So I like this brand. I like this style. These come in other varieties of dryer sheets as well, but I was sticking with the lavender theme. So that's what we did today. So ducky, I'm excited, I'm pumped, and I'm happy about it. Now, I found a beautiful brand new mug and a little coffee situation for my hubby Bubby to go to work with. Now this is Christmas themed for the mug. It's so completely pretty and I don't remember seeing this one out other years. So this is North Pole Bed and Breakfast, hot cocoa served here. And if you guys have seen it, I never made it to my stores in years past. I love the barn on it with the beautiful Christmas trees surrounding it. I love the font of the lettering and I love the half white and red little handle right there. So a nice decent size coffee mug and I thought that that would be quite lovely for him. And then he has a Keurig machine, I believe it is, at work. So this is super nifty and cool. This is Harry and David. And these are really great to, to make like little sets out of. Put a little cellophane over a mug with the little coffee inside of a mug. Wrap a cute little bow and a tag on it and gift it away. Harry and David, there are four pods in here of ground coffee. And this is Northwest Blend. I've never heard of that particular one before. This is Hazelnut praline and cinnamon. So that is totally different for a Harry and David style coffee. And I pick up Harry and David coffee all of the time because he really enjoys it. So I think he's going to like that very much. And then I found new cookies for Santa plates this year. And I love this one with the beautiful Frosty the snowman on it. I love the Christmas tree with the snow covering it. He's holding that gorgeous candy cane and the cardinal in his other hand. And his wagon has a little tree in it too with some presents at his feet. So this is a breakable plate, but so beautiful, cool, and awesome. And if you got a bunch of these, because they have a, a lot of different varieties, this is just the one that I really loved. If you are like to bake cookies or treats for the holidays, you could even plate them on something like this for $1.25. Put that cellophane wrapping over it and make it a personalized little cookie tray to gift away with a tag on it and a pretty little bow. So... I had to pick that up because I know that once it's gone, it is gone and I'm not going to find it again. And that would make me very sad. 
So when I doll my table up for fall decorations, not Halloween decorations, because I've decorated a lot inside the house with Halloween and a lot outside with just the fall theme, but I've done a lot of blue themed for my fall decoration pickups. So I loved this tablecloth. I think it's just really pretty. That navy blue color mixed with like the gray accents on it, I think is very attractive. So this is home collection. This is the Piva with flannel backing so it's that little bit thicker of a quality this is an oval shape and it's 52 inches by 70 inches of a tablecloth so I think that that will situate really well and they did have some um oblong ones also so I thought that that was really pretty and I pulled a lot of my fall stuff out in my bins that I've hauled from the Dollar Tree and there is a lot of blue in there mixed with yellows and oranges and greens and I just think it all came together really really nice so I love it I love it very very extra much I do want to do some crafting and I could not leave these behind. These were wooden DIY little boxes. Um, I, they, they're not bird houses, but these would be so beautiful on a little hook outside along my doorway, you know, the entryway, if I shellac them and make them weatherproof after painting them and dolling them up. I think that these are so pretty with some beautiful little sprigs, uh, sprigs of floral stems in them you know that is just such an attractive beautiful little piece and I love the heart cut out in the middle so really really at just absolutely adorable and cute then right here we also have the one with the butterfly that beautiful gorgeous butterfly and I love I love the way that they scalloped the edging all around this part too so these I am going to spruce up and I'm probably not even going to just spruce them up for the springtime I'm going to spruce them up for now that one I think would go really well for like Christmas if you wanted to make these for Christmas little treat boxes and put little gifts in there or little candies in there and gift this away you know handmade from the heart that is really extra special and cool and I love the star shape inside of it so that could be a really nice little treat gift box to put some gadgets and gadgets inside of and little yummy things to chew and eat so there is that as well and then I found these and I had found these last year and I think that these are beautiful to make Christmas ornaments out of or even to make really cool coasters. This is from the Crafter Square brand as well and these are wood ornaments and there's three of them in there and they're just little cut pieces of wood. They're so beautifully trimmed with like the bark look all around them just so natural and pretty and they come with the little twine in them so that you can put it right through the hole that they provided for you so that you can make really sweet beautiful ornaments if that's what you choose to do with them so I love them and I can't wait to do some crafting creating dolling up of all of these really really extra special special things now where shall we go my loves I did pick up some batteries because on the way out I found the uh, packages right here and these work well for me I know a lot of people say uh, don't buy them because you know they don't work well I don't really have a problem I don't know why but they don't run out very fast for me in my remote control or anything else that I use them in so I pick up the bigger packs when I find them um, up by the register because they're usually promoting these particular ones this is um, e Cricut and this is the triple a one and there's 10 pieces of batteries inside of there plus they're nice to have on hand like we have a lot of storms we've had an enormous amount of storms the last four months and we've lost our power plenty of times so 125 for batteries to back us up you know to put it in the stash that makes me feel a little secure so this is a triple a battery from the same brand and this is 10 batteries inside of this package as well so my heart's content and my batteries are plentiful so that is really thrilling to me so I love that now okay 
the months are plugging along and the fall is here and as soon as it got a little bit crispier and the mugginess went away my skin started getting super duper dry and i found some great new lotions that i had never seen before so this is the aroma therapy signature brand and this is eucalyptus mint scented amazing body and soul body lotion and it's 5.1 fluid ounces now these do have um these do have like a little plug right there, but you can, if you just try to puff it a little bit, you can smell a really delightful scent inside of it. And I love eucalyptus, so I'm happy to have discovered that for sure. Then this one right here is ginger citrus scented, and it's the same exact size bottle. Plus, they're just beautiful as well. They're absolutely so pretty. And I've never had a ginger a ginger citrus scented body lotion. I've never had that before, so I cannot wait to give that a try for sure, absolutely. Then, okay, my little darlings, look at these two right here. I did pick up this one, which is lemon verbena scented body lotion, same exact size and the same exact brand. Absolutely love lemon verbena. And then lastly, this is lavender scented to go with all of my lavender happy cleaning products. So it's just going to be a lavender week of treating my house and treating myself. So there is that also. And I was so pumped to get some brand new lotions. I love to try new things. And so those scents seem like they are right up my alley. I did find some new foaming soaps and I thought that these would be really pretty for Christmas uh, keeping so that I can put them out over the month of December. Now this is from Personal Care. This is limited edition white pine foaming hand soap and it's eight fluid ounces. So it's a really, really beautiful bottle. It will look extra pretty on the bathroom sink in the colder, uh, snowy and Santa Clausy months. Then right here we have frosted cranberries. That sounds holiday for sure. And this is the foaming hand soap and it's eight fluid ounces as well. Now they did have another one that I believe it was like an orange tinge and it may have said something citrus, but I did not pick that one up. I wanted to kind of stick with the Christmassy scents. So I did, I did just that. Now, let them see, let them see because oh, we got so many things. Now, okay, I found some more socks and these were really, really beautiful, cool and cute. And I love the extended sizes because they're just, there's so much more wiggle room and I like the feeling of them. So this is the Juncture brand. This is women's uh, size eight to 14, which is really good. And there's two pairs in here. So these are nice, thin ankle socks and they're really pretty. I love the gray and pink and white together. I think that they're beautiful. And so I had to scoop those up because they got your girl over here extra excited. Now, alrighty then, alrighty then. Will you look at these two things together? That's a cute little set. I like it. Grab a cute little pen set to do spot the difference and some cute little adorable patches. I thought it was a nifty little setup to go together. So this is spot the difference. And then it has those beautiful butterflies on it. Now, these are really, really fun, awesome books. But a lot of times I use the pictures inside to scrapbook with or I do um you know I make like little bookmarks out of them or something like that there are such stunning gorgeous images inside of it so a nice thick book to be able to work through and have fun with <coughs> sorry I have a tickle what's new it always happens <laughs> um so anyways we have this iron iron on patches and these are so sweet dear cute and adorable i love the little baby looking butterflies the little sweet faced bumblebee and that adorable ladybug so that is such a beautiful set of iron on patches you could get a cute little shirt from the dollar tree and be able to just iron on a little a little you know butterfly onto it and make an adorable sweet little girl shirt or boy shirt or whoever likes what and i thought that, that was so so special to do something like that for a gifting reason because they have tons of shirts and all kinds of sizes from small all the way to adult sizes in shirts 
shirts at the Dollar Tree around me. Now this is the Barbie sticker by number and I am thrilled. I'm keeping this and I want to do it. <laughs> so this is the, um, it says ages three plus on it. There's over 125 stickers and there are six vibrant pictures inside of it. Re um, re detachable pages is what it says. So I'm going to flip through just a couple of pictures in here. Really, really awesome. And then all of those stickers right there are numbered so that you put them in the correct places to complete the pictures. Look at how fun that is on there. I might cut one of those images out and frame it for my Barbie love at my house. Um, and then we also have the Little People's One sticker by number. These are so fantastic. Again, over 120 stickers, six vibrant pictures and detachable pages. Uh, that is what I meant to say the first time as well. So right in here, and then there is the sticker sheet all numbered up. And then let's see in the back what they gave us for a beautiful picture. That is the cutest. That would also look really cute framed in a child's room for sure. So I thought that those are just so much fun and so great for gifting, donating, and what have you. Now let's take a break from that really quick because I found, I found some more book style things, but I did find Minecraft and these just brought back so many amazing memories for me because my Isaiah that's now about to be 20 years old, he was obsessed and loved Minecraft. He had Minecraft uh, everything. His bedroom was Minecraft, his clothing were Minecraft, and all of these little characters. So I thought that this would be awesomely cute to have on hand for little cake toppers if I was going to make like a cake or something for memorabilia reasons and just surprise them with it at some point. Um, and then right here we have that character right there from Minecraft. Then this cutie patootie one right there. Uh, he also made his own helmets out of uh, shoe boxes and cardboard boxes. It was so much fun crafting and creating Minecraft stuff with him. Then there's that little character. And then last but not least, this character from the same exact style. So I love them. They bring back such fond memories of my little Bambino and I love it. It makes my heart happy. So moving on here, ready? I'm gonna go clean my bathroom and redo it and look at what I found. I found this big, cozy, beautiful, fantastic, look at the size of this baby. This is huge and I love the color of it. It's it's almost like that eucalyptus-y looking gray, uh, greenish color. I thought it was so nice, so soft and great. So this is going to be a mat that we're gonna step out of the shower onto it has a uh, a backing on it that's a little bit rough but you could definitely get a non-slip mat for underneath this just in case you need to they did have some in a, like a navy blue color they also had some in like a cream color but that one is what i got because i picked out two things i went to my first ever Dollar Tree Plus shopping today. Um, I was not intentional, a store that I would normally frequent, but I hadn't been there for a couple of weeks. It turned into a Dollar Tree Plus before January. So here we go. Now with that mat right there, I bought this pack and I only bought two things that were $5 each because I did find that the price of this package of 20 washcloths was better than buying it at Walmart because a package roughly about this size with the same exact style washcloths around me here in Massachusetts has gone up to $6.96. So for $5, this is a 20 pack of washcloths and I liked all of the color combinations in it. Now, I will tell you that I went up and down that um, Dollar Tree Plus section and I really, I, I mean, the stuff is pretty, it's nice, it's cute, but I won't, I won't be regularly purchasing too much of it unless I find that it is something that I can really save money on outside of, you know, going other places. If I find something there for $5, $3, or that in between price $4, some things were, 
but I'm not going to be picking up too much of it. I'm sticking with the 125 items for sure, unless it's something like this. So this is 13 pieces in here of a fabric shower curtain. It includes 12 metal roller hooks, and then it includes fabric shower curtain, easy care, washable, uh, machine washable. It's 70 inches by 72 inches. And I liked the color of it because it matches the, uh, the rug that was 125 and that washcloth set that was $5 for 20 of them. And I like the design on it. It's very simple, clean, classic, and it's just pretty for the bathroom. And then there are all the rings on there. So something like this at, um, you know, Walmart, let's just keep referencing Walmart would normally cost like upwards of 10, $12. So I picked this up. I thought it was nice enough for $5. This is, um, a very silky material. I'm imagining that this is definitely a see-through look. So I had to buy a shower curtain for behind it, which I would have needed to anyway. So I picked up a gray one and this was 125 this is a shower curtain and this is 70 inches by 72 inches long which is the same size as that particular set right there and it is a gray so I'm going to put that behind the sheer curtain that I purchased in that pack now I really I will not be picking up too much uh, unless it really strikes my fancy and it makes me feel like I actually got a deal other than purchasing it somewhere else so there is that but i toured the whole aisle they had a lot of christmas stuff they had a lot of things that were almost like five below themed like throws and pillows and um they had um they had some you know like crafting stuff that was like three four dollars uh that i probably could have picked up on clearance at michael's or hobby lobby or something like that if i really needed it but i didn't so i didn't grab it i mean cute stuff but things i could really picture myself finding anyways at five below so it was just you know those two things were the only things that really made me feel like i got a decent enough deal so i grabbed them so now last couple of things here i did find this i found this right here this is fisher price and this is the jumbo coloring activity book bonus character stand up on the back and i thought that that was so sweet cute adorable and it's a giraffe stand up character and you know that i love giraffes even if you've been here with me for a short time because i've mentioned it so love coloring books and then I found this classic right here, this beautiful, remember the Caterpillar book from Eric? Um, I'm not going to say his last name because I don't want to hurt his feelings, but you know, that's the last name. So there's 400 plus stickers inside of here, six sheets in total. And will you look at all of the beautiful stickers that are inside of this package? That is just a gorgeous set. And I can't be able to, I can't wait to be able to use some of them on there you know, packages, envelopes, and cards that I like to send out. And then I found my mom another word search book. These are so fun for her. The best word search, it says, big print. So that's really great. And it's a nice, thick, great, big word search. So I scooped de duped this right up. It made me extra happy to do so. And I love to gift her things that she needs from the Dollar Tree while I'm there. So that is it. That is it, my little honey muffins. I love you guys to the moon and the stars and the sky. Thank you so much for being a part of my days, my life, my weeks, and my years. And I'm so thankful for all of your beautiful, wonderful spirits in my days. So for those of you that are new, hi, I'm Callan. I would love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. It is my happy place and I'm so thankful for it. You just don't know because you all bring me to the happiest, most calm, joyful, loving place that I have for myself personally. And it's so important for me to have that for myself. So thank you. And thank you from my family too, because you bring them so much love. I Thank you guys are wonderful and I hope you have a wonderful start to your week. I am marching toward my surgery date of October 2nd. I'm very anxious and nervous. If anybody wants to send me love, prayers, positive vibes throughout this week, I would really appreciate it because my anxiety is heightening as the days go forward and all of your love, positivity and energy always affects me in such a loving, a positive and happy way and I am so grateful for every single bit of it that you share with me. So that's all. And I will see you guys on happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. Love you. See you soon. Bye everyone.